Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Patrick LeVar. I'm sharing my journey of learning Blender Octane with you guys. This is one of the videos from my free Blender 101 Octane guide. If you're totally new to Blender Octane, at least the render engine portion, this guide will help you get started. Enough of my jibba jabba, let's get straight into the video. All right, so this time we're gonna be looking at the layered materials or the material layer here, all the way down at the bottom of our node here. This is basically just like another quick way to mix materials. Typically, we would take a mixed material node, stack them up, and then mix it out like this. Well, this gives you an option. If you know you just want to mix something very simple, you don't have to do all that. It's actually built into the node here. So I'm going to scroll this up a little bit here so we can get in here and sight. You see down here we have material layer. So if I go ahead and click on that, we get a material layer group. I'm just going to pull that right underneath here. And then on this, we can add more sockets for more layer groups, uh, more that we want to add. So in this case, I'm just going to start off with one just to show you guys the power of this. If I grab this and we go ahead and hit the positive, now we can bring in a diffuse layer, another material layer group. So if you reach the max, you can stack them. A metallic layer, which we're already using, so we don't want to kind of do that. We can bring in a sheen layer or a specular layer. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna bring in a diffuse layer, right? Small commercial break. If you're getting any value out of this video, guys, smash that like button for me. And as a gift or smashing that like button, you can jump over to my Gumroad. I've got all of this free stuff here for Blender Octane. Materials, little add little plugins and things that I've been working on, like this little geo drop generator for Octane Blender. I got a free Blender Octane startup file, which you just download this, helps you get started up. And if you're really serious and you want to go hardcore, take a look at my Blender Octane School community right now. For the next week, I'm going to be taking five bucks off. So it is 10 bucks. Normally costs 15 bucks to get in a month. This is 10 bucks straight up. Or if you want to pay annual, you, that option has just been added. So take a look. We got material assets. You can come in here. And I got a big material asset library that is constantly growing. You can have access to it. We got node setups one on one with me. Whatever you guys need community help, this is where it's at. Blender Octane, back to the video, enough of my jibba jab. So here is our diffuse layer. You can say we've added like this white on top of here. Let me just kind of change the color. Let's go like blue, like we've got this blue paint, okay? And again, we're just using the, this is like a, a minimized version of the diffuse node because if we open up the diffuse node here, we go back to materials and we go to diffuse materials, you can kind of see the difference here. It's a little bit, we're gonna use this one here in a moment and pull that off. If you look at it here, it's kind of like, yeah, we have the diffuse, the color, the model here and then some of the roughness in the bump, but we're minusing a couple of these extra things down on the bottom here, okay? So this is kind of like a, a minimized version of that. This is what we got. I can control the roughness, I can control the bump, I can add a little bit of bump in here also. But what I'm gonna do is I got this, this node here, and it's just basically an image map, grayscale gorilla image crust texture map, okay? Matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that straight into the diffuse, so maybe you can see it. This is what we're using here, okay? That's all it is, it's just like a crusty map, black and white values, okay? And matter of fact, let me go ahead and set that back to default on here, because it was, a, a, oops, kind of reload that in. There we go. But what I wanna do is like, right now it's covering up the gold, which is kind of pointless, right? But if we take this, and this is where that layer opacity, with well, this opacity up here that we talked about earlier, this is where this comes into play. So down here, layer opacity, we're just gonna plop that into here, and now boom, it's kind of like we've got this blue paint on top of the gold effect type going happening here, right? And again, uh, I will go ahead and change all my values on this, and then here I can add in a UV transform, and then I can go ahead and here scale this up or play and do as I wish with this. And this is just kind of like a quick and easy way to mix materials. If I also, I probably want to pipe that into the bump there a little bit and then come in here and we can give that a little bit of a bump on there. See if that's coming through or not. Yeah, it's slightly coming through. Just to quickly show you the power of that, you can just do some basic mixing here. Now, again, we can continue to, to stack on top of that layer stacking, which is very powerful here. So here's the second layer, layer number two. Again, if I come back here, add in another diffuse layer, and this time we'll make this one like more of a darker color here, maybe like something like that, and even maybe like a little bit of a, a dirt color here. Just kind of get more into the dirty, grimy stuff, right? So here's that. And then what I can do here is add in a new different mask. I'll come in here and just load in a different type of mask. All right, kind of add it in just so you can quickly see. It's kind of like a, a dust mask on this one here, a little bit different. It looks like some dust speckles, right? 
So again, what we'll do here is go ahead and plug that into the opacity. And again, are we seeing it? Yeah, we're seeing. I'm going to go ahead and change that color, make it white just so we can really see it happening. Okay, there it is. And again, it's kind of too full. So you can also play with the invert here. But also, we need to make sure that we know where it's at. Because right now, layer one, it's actually under layer two. So if we bring this on top, now we're stacking it on top. And I can see here a little bit of it on being there on the top here. But you notice we lost our gold material. What happened to our gold material? Let me flip this over here. We're starting to stack a little bit too much I think what's happening here because we got the diffuse on top of the diffuse and this is where we'll need to start doing some math like we know we're gonna start stacking we're gonna need to start multiplying these black and white values so we can get some mass going here so this is another way of doing it I typically will build it out a different way which I'll show you a little bit later of how to do it but this is just it is there if you want to just do a basic simple mask like something like this this will probably be the easiest way to do it but there are other ways the traditional ways like we do in cycles matter of fact we can come in here search in a layer we're just gonna go mix right here mix material node and this will allow us to mix in two materials and basically kind of do what we're doing here in one okay so we'll get to more advanced stuff into that later Guys, if you enjoyed this and you want to go deeper with Blender Octane in particular, I do have a Blender Octane community. I'm giving a seven day free trial to the community where you can get more access to content like this. Plus, you can get access to the Blender Octane 101 guide as it's being released, as it's being built. And I also have material libraries, databases of nodes and different types of things to help you learn Octane Blender and an engaging community. So if that's something you might be interested in, take a look down seven day free trial. Hey, if you don't like it, then you can just leave. Catch you in the next one. Take a look at the next video in the guide. Peace.